it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to make two amazing desserts for the holidays. My special peanut butter chocolate bark, which is super delicious, and homemade hot chocolate from scratch. This is actually a collab with my friends Casey, Sydney, and Hannah from Blank Canvas. So I'll leave a link to their channel in the description below so that you can go check out their great videos and subscribe to them. Before I get into these two recipes, I want to talk about Christmas and what Christmas is truly about. You see, Christmas isn't just about getting presents and eating sweet treats. Christmas is all about giving and spending time with your family. I don't mean to be religious here, but Christmas got its name because December 25th was actually Jesus' birthday, and we want to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ on this special holiday. If you have kids, I'd really recommend you tell them about the true meaning of Christmas. I know, let's get into the recipes now. First, we will be making delicious chocolate peanut butter bark. This is actually really easy to make. You'll need milk chocolate chips or morsels, peanut butter, a microwave safe bowl, a spoon, a tray, and plastic wrap. First, empty the whole bag of milk chocolate chips or morsels into the bowl. Then, put around an equal amount of peanut butter on top of the chocolate chips or morsels. Put the bowl in the microwave for a minute. Once they're all melted, mix the two until fully combined. It should look like this. Next, unless you'd prefer to eat the mixture the way it is now, which will still be delicious, line a tray with plastic wrap. Pour the melted chocolate and peanut butter mixture into the tray. Make a pretty thin layer, about this thick. And if you want to add anything else to your bark, like crushed up pretzels or something, add it now and then put it in the freezer for a couple of hours. After it has been in the freezer for a couple of hours, take it out of the tray by the plastic wrap and break it into servings. Then, serve your bark on a plate and enjoy. I love this chocolate peanut butter bark because it tastes exactly like a Reese's peanut butter cup. I actually call it Reese's bark for that reason. I would have just called it Reese's Bark for this video, but I don't want to get copyrighted. I promise you, your mouth will be watering when you take your first bite of this bark. It'll melt in your mouth. Next, we will be making delicious homemade hot chocolate. You'll need milk, cocoa powder, a sweetener of your choice, I'm using sugar, any extra ingredients you want, any toppings you want, a small saucepan, a large spoon, and the mug you'll be putting your hot chocolate in. Fill up your mug with milk until it's almost at the top, kind of like this, and then pour the milk into the saucepan. Add as much cocoa powder and sweetener as you want, but don't add too much of either. If you add too much cocoa powder, it'll make it taste like chocolate flavored chalk, which you do not want and too much sweetener will make it too sweet, which is not delicious. Put the saucepan over high heat and stir your milk, cocoa powder, and sweetener together until they are dissolved. This should take just a couple minutes, and don't even think about leaving this unattended. Pay attention to it and stir it, or else it'll burn. Once it's all dissolved, it's actually ready. You can serve it just like this, but I'm going to add peppermint extract because not only do I love anything mint flavored, but it's almost Christmas. I'm then going to put the hot chocolate in the mug and then top it off with some whipped cream. Now you can enjoy your homemade hot chocolate. I love this hot chocolate because not only is it cold outside during the holidays, but drinking hot chocolate always puts me in the holiday mood. Also, the base is heated up milk, so it'll put you to sleep. 
I love drinks that put me to sleep when it's late at night. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing those two recipes and I hope you try them. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to not only comment down below whether you've tried those two recipes and like them, but also comment down below what you want for Christmas. Thank you for watching. Bye guys!